Well, hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey from Trayminder. Today I'm going to do a follow-up video on a very popular video that I had put out about two years ago on how to properly remove your clear aligners. Apparently a lot of you have told me that the video has been helpful, um, but that sometimes it's still quite difficult, especially at the beginning. Uh, when you are first getting started to remove your aligner, sometimes it can be nerve-wracking to not be able to remove it and I can completely commiserate with that, especially if you have a lot of attachments on your teeth or if you start off with a lot of crowding on your teeth, it's much, much harder to remove your aligners than what I have shown on a type of dot, right? So I wanted to, after two years, I wanted to do a follow-up video and maybe go into a little more in-depth uh, tips on how to remove your aligners so that for those of you who are just getting started, it, hopefully this will help you. If you have not watched that first video, I would definitely recommend watching that first. That will give you the foundation on how to properly remove your clear aligners. Then you can go ahead and watch this one. For those of you who are wearing clear aligners with rubber bands, there are a couple of tools that you can use. I have received comments that you know, my nails are too weak or they're brittle or my my nails are too long. I have um, manicured nails that I don't want to mess up or for men that they have uh, shorter nails and it's hard for them to dislodge the clear aligners from their mouth. So there are a couple of tools that have come into the market that I wanted to review with you. One is called the ortho key like this and this one is called the pull tool. So they're, they're shaped the same, almost identical for the ortho tool. The, cir the circle goes this way. And for the pull tool, it's in the same direction. The pull tool, this one has, uh, a, I think it's a silicone um, tab here that's attached. And the idea behind that is that you can use that as a chew, as a chewy, as a chew tool to help to seat your aligners. And I have a video on uh, chewing exercises that I'll link below for you guys to tell you what the rationale is behind using a, uh, a chewing tool. All right, so going back to these hook tools, what you can do if you're wearing rubber bands is you can use the hook to unhook, all right, to remove your elastics, all right? So in that previous video, I've taught you guys to start from the inside on the upper arch, right? So I would take my opposite, so if this is me, I'm gonna take my opposite finger, my index finger, and go from the inside to dislodge, okay? like this and then do the same thing on the other side so you're gonna hook on the inside okay and you're gonna pull down right and then here's the tricky part if you have a lot of attachments here you would have to use your your nail if you have long nails or if you don't then it's helpful to have one of these tools and you can use it to sort of pry outward. So it's like, it's a peeling type action, okay? Where I find it hardest is right here in the front. You have to bring, use your nail or use a pull tool. You have to pull it out, out a little bit this way and then down, okay? So again, you're gonna pull out and down. Where you find the most number of attachments, those are the areas that you'll have the hardest time dislodging. So those might be good areas to do your peel outward and down, okay? Uh, so if you're not using your fingers, you can use the hook tool, right? And you can dislodge it like so, all right? 
So on the bottom, you guys remember from my previous video that you want to actually start from the outside. The reason why you want to start from the outside is because your bottom teeth, they actually lean inward a little bit for the most part, okay? So because they lean inward, you want to start from the outside, you're going to peel it, right? So again, if you want to use a tool, start from the outside and peel it upwards, all right? So like that, okay? Do it to the other side, pull it up, pull it up and inward. And then once you have loosened the two back sides, then you'll go from the front and you are going to lift out and up out and up especially if you have a lot of crowding on the lower you have attachments those are the areas that you will have trouble the most trouble all right i'm going to show you a different tip that you can use now starting on the upper remember we start from the inside that's because most people's molars are tipped they're flared out like this that's called the curve of wilson and so that's why it's easier to start from the inside not everybody's teeth are are that way these tips I'm, that i'm giving you are going to work for probably 85 90 percent of you but everybody's teeth are a little bit different so if it doesn't work for you you'll just have to experiment a little bit another option that you can try is to go from one side to the other side so so if the inside isn't working for you okay then try going from the outside so you can try going peeling it from the outside once you get the outside you're going to move over to the other side you're going to keep going okay loosening 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 from one side to the other side so try that as an option too one thing that i would advise against doing is to loosen one side and then rip it out because what basically what you're doing is you're creating a stress point on where you're pulling it down just on one side so i would advise against doing that you want to loosen it up you want to try to loosen the other side and then use both hands both hands to to remove it okay so hopefully that makes sense these are little additional tips that i have decided to add after reading all of your comments and uh, i hope that this video has been helpful for you please give it a thumbs up if you like it please subscribe to the trayminder channel this is dr bailey from trayminder i hope to see you next time bye